think it's totally about time that the ballroom scene is in the mainstream, you know. I feel like with it being in the mainstream, I feel like people are finally like seeing us. And they're uh, in the process of them seeing us, they are um, letting go of all those negative stereotypes and stigmas that existed towards our community. So now that we have this visibility, we're able to now educate everyone of what it's like to be an LGBTQ person of color. Throughout the years, um, we've birthed many other houses, but we're just here and happy to celebrate our 30 years. The House of Revlon after 30 years is a household name. And now in, in the media, now being there, it lets us know that we are truly a brand. And that's what it's really about, a brand of longevity. A Long, lot, lot of people don't last, but we've become a household name for 30 years. Now we've officially become a brand. Pose is on fire right now. <laughs> Billy Porter is on fire right now. So many of this is so great, and it's so great to see that on mainstream TV, we're seeing these people's lives retold. Ballroom then was imagination. Ballroom today is hallucination. We created our presence. We didn't take it off a hanger. The creativity is a shift that's been going on from, from then to now. Look at it, look at ballroom. It's not about ageism, classism, sexism. It's about the ability to be. We were allowed to be ourselves when nobody else was interested. Because when we was in ballroom, they was at Judy Garland. When we was in ballroom, they was at Stonewall. When we was in ballroom, they was at the pier. So now that Paris is burning brought them to Harlem, you cannot take it away from Harlem. That's why they should be here tonight. If it wasn't for ballroom, Bugs wouldn't even be standing here right now. Because when I came into ballroom, I was 19 years old. Fresh shot of doing five years as a juvenile. I got locked up at 14, I got out at 19. Ballroom raised me. I was able to gain self-confidence, um, um, just heart, and, and just strong and just strength. So, like, if it wasn't for Ballroom, I don't know where I would be. Like, and that's the truth. Primarily, it's all about pushing the envelope. It's about taking it to the next level. For me, it will always be that. It's not about where we are today. It's about where we can be tomorrow and the next day and the day after that and it will always be that for me and some people are visionaries i accept that challenge and i accept and i diligently actually put forward that in in everything that we do as miyaki Mugler's and everything that i instill in my children so yeah ladies and gentlemen you just got you a dose of Mugler, okay